How many of you have ever been, you know, maybe walking along with a tray of drinks and you're going, I hope I don't spill the drinks, I hope I don't fall. <laughs> and then what do you say? I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> right? Yeah. You saw it in your head, your unconscious mind knew it was coming, and your unconscious mind acted it out. Okay? This, this happens all the time. Whatever your unconscious mind thinks is in your future and you're bound to create, it's going to take the steps. Remember what I said earlier, from birth until death, your unconscious mind is continually moving in the direction of your most dominant thoughts. Even your most dominant unconscious thoughts. So your unconscious mind not only has a vision of the past and what happened with all those memories, it also has a vision of the future and what it thinks is coming. And if you, do, if you don't change that timeline, your unconscious mind will create it. That's pretty interesting. So now, the moment of now becomes even more interesting because we also have a wave from the future, or at least what your unconscious mind thinks is in your future, coming from the future back. So the moment of now, who you are right now in this moment is not just a result of your past, it's also a result of your future. Mm -hmm. Which come together and collide in the moment of now, creating now. This is pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. Because what you're gonna do is you're gonna learn to let go of all that stuff in the past. You're also gonna learn how to change your future timeline to be exactly the way that you want it. <clears throat> Before I go to bed every night, I spend 10 to 15 minutes in bed before I go to sleep, working on my future timeline. Is your future worth 10 or 15 minutes of your day? Yeah. I hope so. You got a question in the back? Oh, oh yes, she's a great one. <laughs> okay. I spend 10 to 15 minutes every day going out into my future timeline and saying, is this the future that I want to create? And if it isn't, I fix it. So we've got these two ways, past and future. They come together, they collide into the now, and that makes you who you are now, what you are now, what you're doing. It brings all the energy of it in. So you constantly have these two poles coming together and creating and influencing you in the now. Think of it this way. If you knew, for instance, if you knew, oh, God forbid, you know, so many people are going through foreclosures right now, right? So if you knew that it was just a matter of days before somebody comes and takes your house, that changes who you are now, doesn't it? It changes your behavior, it changes your desires, your wants, everything about you changes in those kinds of moments. So we're going to learn how to handle both sides. Law of Attraction tells you to ask, believe, and receive, but there is something missing. It's action. Aristotle said, we are what we repeatedly do. Do. That's an action. We are what we repeat repeatedly do. Therefore, excellence is not an act, but a habit.